Uh, just booted up Windows. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mod the Vega 64 and mod it into a Vega 56. So. What I want to do with these three cards is I actually want to um, just run the DDU and just uninstall all the drivers. Um, it's going to ask me to reboot into safe mode. So let's just launch this now. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just because I want, I've already done that with these cards, I've probably wiped all the, the V wires off them. I just want to start sort of fresh cards for uh, Hive OS, just so I don't run into any issues, um, any conflicting sort of like window drivers, I just want this whole thing, the whole system clean. So we're in safe mode now. I'm just going to run the DDU. Ah, this is the this is the DDU here. It's available on GitHub. Um, AMD clean and restart. And then after the um, DDU is finished uninstalling the drivers, it's going to resort back to Windows drivers. And I'm going to show you, you use a, a program, I've got the latest AMD VB Flash tool. Um, so that's finished, it's going to restart. Now, in order to find out what card you've got, you've got to look up on the serial numbers. It will say the type of card, like if you've got a Asus or you know a Nitro or a Pulse. Uh, these are Sapphire um, Vega 64s just the stock standard so I went to I'll show you how to download the BIOSes the BIOS uh, download the latest version of GPU Z so as you can see here all the cards now are just running the Microsoft basic uh, display adapter um, in order for you, the computer, to start deciding what cards you have, um, you need to download um, the uh, radio and software, but I'm not doing that. So I've got the CPU uh, integrated graphics and then the three GPUs. Um, so if I, that's this one here, I believe is the, the stock standard CPU. So that's the Vega 10. It will tell you what, what card you've got. The, I think that is the 580. And this one here is the 480. So that's it's actually not reading what the memory type it's got. It's all saying Micron. It doesn't matter. Here you go. This is the Vega. So that's Samsung. So what you do is you click look up. Take you to the tech power up. Click databases. Uh, databases. VGA BIOS collection and then pretty much just select AMD and then just leave that on all card model choose the card you have so if you're flashing a Vega 64 you, you, you want to select the Vega 64 and then look at your BIOS which is this one here and you want to you want to match that so look at that number it's like 8 730 so you see here this one here 8730 you click it and then you can see that there's three so mine's the sapphire so this is one here is my is my bias for this card this has a dual bias it's got a bias switch make sure sure the switch is facing to the plate that's the default the safety one is the switch facing back for when you're doing the bias modding have the switch facing forward okay so since it's a sapphire change this here go all change this here go all okay card model you want to select the vega 56 right and then 
it's going to have a whole stack to choose from so you know that you have got to select what card you you had for your bias so sapphire right and then there's going to be a whole bunch of the nitro plus the pulse the blah 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 so you look up on the bottom of your serial and you can figure out which one you've got it normally it says just download any of these three if you're having problems with this one try this one if you're having problems with this one try this one any of these bars that's where you download i've downloaded this first one here and it worked great for me on this card so i'm going to do the exact same i don't need to download it again i'm going to try the exact same on this card close that close that sweet mdvb flash tool so this was the vega 56 bios that i just downloaded from how i just showed you guys so what you do is run the installer click i to install the the drivers for the flash drivers have installed successfully push any key to continue go to command prompt right click run as admin yes close that type cd click that type cd space go to this dictionary here right click it copy address right click it there hit enter now you're in the right dictionary click type in amd vb flash right space dash i it's going to list devices right so now we can see here that the vega is on the adapter zero then sub sub following as one and two right showing showing the bios things looking good so you go amd vb flash space i think it's p no p dash p space dash f p hold on here you're gonna put zero so dash p zero dash fp this is for force force here the the bios space fp space right and then you're going to select make sure that you save the file to this dictionary click this right click this copy right click that there and then hit dot wrong right so that's the command here this command should flash force flash the spires to the vega hit enter this is going to pop up so the old just got flashed the new what you want to see here is a, is a is a pass right so restart system to complete the bios update here you go here the result of the rsa signature verify is pass so that's excellent we've just flashed the bios okay we've reset the through the ddu we've fully reset the system so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to shut down i'm going to put put, put my hive uh usb into the into the machine i'm also going to chuck my other P psu on and then plug in my other gpus i'm going to have six gpus i'm going to boot up into hive and i'm going to see if i can get all six cards mine so we've just flashed the vega 64 to a vega 56. what we have here is the system running in hive os you can see that my two vega 64s have been flashed to vega 56s and hive os is recognizing them with the um the bios that we downloaded and flashed to the vega 64 so i'm achieving 108 watts and 105 watts um, with quite a high mega hash rate uh, coming out of the cards the temp's quite low so I'm really, really stoked with the outcome of the BIOS flash. Um, this is the miner running. Um, I just had to reset it. Um, 
so the accepted shares currently are quite quite low but as you can see you can see the mining operation is happening um, if I push H I believe or S I think there you go it's um, 126.4 mega hash both pretty equal on the Vegas I think if I do some uh, tweaking I can get that hash rate up but uh, for now I just sort of run it on the stock buyers without any any tweaking apart from the overclocks I know that you can get some really good um, overclocks and tweaks done with uh, the AMD tweaker tool through HiveOS so I might experiment around in future videos and, and see what I can get as you can see we get some accepted shares coming through um, so yeah, push S on the keyboard, you get a you get a reading on on uh, the cards, and yeah, I'm pretty average down around 126 point four mega hash on the on the RX uh, 56 BIOS. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, uh, subscribe. I'll put out more content, and um, yeah, happy mining.